Hello there, this is Paolo with Bark. Let's set up your kid's new Bark watch. Take the watch out of the box. You should also see a magnetic pin charging cable, a charging block, the hardware warranty registration packet, and an insert with setup instructions. As you can see here, you'll find the magnetic charging port on the back of the watch. On the watch, there are two side buttons, one on the top and one on the bottom. Let's long press that top side button to power it on for the first time. It may take a minute or two before you see the setup Wi-Fi message appear. Then connect to your home Wi-Fi. This will be required to activate it for the first time, but after we're done, your kid's watch will have its own phone number, own location tracking, and be able to make calls and texts directly from the watch. After you've connected to Wi-Fi, it'll show you a setup QR code on the watch itself. Let's use your parent phone's camera to scan the QR code on the watch. Then the next part of setup is done entirely from your parent phone. If you're not replacing this Bark Watch and it's the first Bark Watch you're setting up for your kid, select Activate a New Line. Along the way, you'll be asked to sign in or create a Bark account. If you haven't already subscribed to the $15 per month plan required for the watch to work, you'll be asked to do so now. This plan includes talk, text, data for the watch, as well as Bark Premium features for the whole family. In other words, if you have other kids with smartphones or tablets, you can monitor them with Bark Premium as well. In my case, I already have a Bark account, so I'm going to select Login at the top here. After logging in, I'll confirm my subscription and it'll start preparing and activating the line. When it's ready, I'll click Continue and be either asked to create a new child or select if it's the child I already have on my account. And you'll be asked to set whether texting or camera are blocked, I'm leaving them on. And after that, I'll be asked to add a contact. In this case, I'll add myself, mom as an emergency contact. And I can add or remove contacts at any time. This isn't my only chance. If your child already has a phone number and you'd like to transfer it into the Bark Watch so that they can call and text using that same number, you'll select, yes, I wanna transfer here. Otherwise, Continue on and Bark will assign your child a new number. If there is another parent that would also like to get alerts about potential issues, go ahead and add them here. In this example, I'll add spouse at bark.us as another email. And at that point, I've activated my kid's Bark Watch. I'll see their new phone number that's been assigned. I can add it to my phone contacts. I can copy it to my clipboard. And whenever the Bark Watch calls or sends a text, it'll come from that number. You may be asked if your kid uses any email or social media accounts, just in case Bark can provide additional coverage monitoring those when they use them on other devices. Since the Bark Watch doesn't come with these apps, it's just a simple standalone device that lets your kid call, text, use the clock, and get location tracking. And that's it. You should land on your Bark Parent app. Tap on your child's profile, and there you can make any changes like blocking the camera, the texting. You can also schedule routines for automatic rules changes like blocking everything at bedtime. And don't forget to download the Bark Parent app for an even more convenient way to manage your child's devices. And check out our other Bark Watch videos. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at barkwatch at bark.us.